people welcome back to a new vlog i'm just getting the morning kicked off my lips are a little dry so we just got back from mexico like a day and a half ago we got back at night and so yesterday was like the first full day at home and i was just starting to get like things organized really well i had to pick up oliver and then i unpacked my suitcase but i haven't like done laundry or anything like that we did grocery shopping and then i just like relaxed a bunch too so um yeah <laughs> still getting back into the groove of things you guys having nails it's like impossible to open things and the sound is like nails on a chalkboard to me right now <laughs> come on here we go so if you missed all of the vlogs i did vlog like the whole trip i broke it out into two videos one for tulum and then one for cancun so i'll make sure i'm linking them in case you haven't watched them yet but they are so good you should definitely go watch them i'm gonna try out this new deodorant i got it right before i left for mexico and i didn't take it with me because it was new and i wasn't sure if i was gonna like it or not so yeah it's like more of like a natural deodorant i've seen really good reviews on it so we're gonna try it today because today is gonna be kind of an active day around the house i don't know <laughs> put it to the test i guess hi what i was trying to get to before juan interrupted us here is it's time it's time it's time for our new closets to be installed they're gonna be installed in two days but before they get installed we need to take everything out of the closet and take down like all of the other racks and rods that are in here and repair the walls in preparation for our new closets oh not only our new closets but we're also going to get a new pantry too so i'll show you guys that in a second when I get down there but i did want to start with the closet because this has i mean more stuff in it than my pantry obviously so this vlog is going to be the before and after of our closet remodel our closet makeover too so i'm really excited for that i wasn't kidding if you watched my cancun vlog that when we got back from mexico it was just like so much stuff like so much on our plate so much to do <laughs> So, uh, yeah, things are going to be very busy for the next couple days. There's obviously like a lot of other things going on too, like with my Airbnb, people checking in, people checking out, cleanings, work stuff, and yeah. So anyways, enough of my rambling. Let me show you guys the before. We're going to have dinner at my mom's house tonight with my siblings. So they're texting right now. We're going to go over about five or so i'm excited for that i haven't seen them in oh i don't even know like three weeks or so okay anyway so our master closet is right off of our master bathroom so you have to walk through the bathroom in order to get to the closet but this is the closet so far in april if you guys remember i did do a vlog when we had our consultation with california closets that's the company that we are deciding to go with for our closet remodel and <laughs> we booked it then and they were just like really booked out so the time has finally come and if you did watch that vlog you would kind of see the layouts that we have decided to go with i'll try to find it and insert it into the vlog right now if i have it but essentially it's just utilizing more space you can see all the dead space up here and then all the dead space down here as well like there's so much room to utilize better storage like to have a second rack in here and stuff like that so right now this side is juan's side let me close the door and take a step back so he has tons of like bags and then he has some stuff hanging up here most of it is in the dresser in the bedroom and then he has some shoes here his hamper was here but he was doing laundry since we have been back and then this is like the interesting thing about our closet is that there is like an electrical i don't want to say electrical because it's not it's like a, a tech little thing in our closet that houses like our routers and stuff i don't know why they decided to put that in the closet but it's here <laughs> so we're working around it but this side is gonna remain juan's side move around this is my side I have like my jeans my hoodies some pants and shorts and then all of like 
shirts and t-shirts and whatever else mixed within my hampers in the corner and i have some shoes right here so the plan for this space is that this whole wall is going to be a shoe wall which i'm really looking forward to the question is where am i going to put all this stuff well it's going to have to be my office or the spare bedroom or on top of the bed in the spare bedroom i guess that's what we're going to be working with right now <laughs> I'm gonna gather a few of my favorite things just so that they're in like one section and handy for the next couple of days for outfits just for anything so that way I don't have to like sift through like piles of stuff I feel like that that makes the most sense <laughs> Okay, status updates. All that's left is a few things of Juan's in here. I'm waiting for him to get finished playing his video game and then he can tackle the rest of his stuff. But I wanna go downstairs to tackle the pantry right now. Okay, so for the pantry, this is what the before looks like. I don't think I've shown this since I filmed like an organizational video on when I Got all like the bins and everything for here. I'll try to link that video for you guys if you want to see like how I transformed it to this. And I feel like I've kept it up quite well, but essentially these wire racks are going, they dip in in the center for like heavy things, especially like the alcohol. It's kind of like dangerous a little bit. Like I feel like these shelves are gonna give out. So we're replacing it with wood white shelves that is actually going to have more space because so we're going to add like a second row down here but i think what i'm really excited about is that we're utilizing more of like this dead space up here so we have like a couple two more i think shelves that go all the way up to the ceiling when we're doing this babe let's keep everything in their categories in groups like all the alcohol is going to be together all the cans are going to be together so that way it's like easier to put everything back. Okay. So we figured out an easier way of getting these off. So if you guys have a closet made wire rack like system like this, then you take a flat head and you get under it to pull out these like metal nail things first. And then you take some pliers to pull out that. And it looks like this. And then this comes out of the wall so much easier you guys wow look at all like the damage that we caused <laughs> by just like yanking it out but it's okay tear it open i'm starving we kind of uh huh, got too much because we're starving <laughs> we got a side of rice we went to la chingonia what is it called la chingona la chingona la chingona I almost had it. I ended up getting two carnitas and an al pastor. Let's see which one's which. Oh, there's four on here there. Wowza. And then what'd you end up getting? You got fish ones. I have the fish one and two car the beef tacos. Do you want to see where Oliver is hiding today? Hi, Oliver. 
Are you having a nice nap? <laughs> okay, I'm so excited for this. So, I got two carnitas and an al pastor, like I was saying. And then this is the al pastor. These are the carnitas. I highly recommend this. This is actually like a food truck. We go here all the time. And then I'm just gonna have my rice and then Coke for sure. My mom tasked me with bringing a dessert for our family dinner tonight. So I'm gonna make brownies and bring ice cream. I still need to go to the store and get some ice cream, but we'll do that when we're about to leave. <laughs> we need to leave in like an hour, so hmm. down to the last minute to do all this. But you guys, this is the best brownie mix and I've tried like almost every single brand <sighs> and the fudge ones from Betty Crocker mm, doesn't get much better than this. So I'm gonna sit here and make this uh, so that it's ready the time that we need to go. <laughs> What's up Oliver? You waking up from your nap? All of the lines on this cup have gone away but I still use it. <laughs> Ask me why. It's ridiculous, I should just get a new one. Also, tell me why you remember like random things from high school or junior high classes. Like for instance, science, <laughs> whenever I'm pouring, I think it was chemistry, right? To set this down, get eye level and look at the meniscus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and it blows my mind that that's like the one thing that stands out to me is the meniscus. <laughs> I can't. Going in, babe. <laughs> Whew, just quickly got ready, and I wanted to show you my outfit before I head on out. One's waiting for me. The brownies are hot. <laughs> Okay, so the sun, let me back up. So I have my YSL bag. I am wearing my Aritzia cropped Razorback tank top that I love so much. And then my jeans are, actually I don't think that you can see me at all. Steady. Okay, so my jeans are custom from Shop Alley Grace. Love these ones, so light wash. And then I have on my Birkenstock slides with it. And I do have on some jewelry as well. These front ones are from Miranda Fry. These back ones are from PD Paola. And then my rings on both of my hands are from PD Paola as well. Okay, let's go, we're running late. <laughs> we still need to stop and get ice cream. Oh, where's my purse? I set it down over here. Okay, let's go. Ready, babe? Hi, good morning, you guys. It's already been a pretty busy productive morning i cannot sleep in like at all since being back from mexico so i woke up at seven today which was really like 9 a.m in cancun in tulum you know what i mean and i went to bed at like 10 or 11 too so maybe going to mexico was just what i needed to get my sleep schedule what it was before the pandemic hit no? I don't know. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise, but yeah. I've already been doing stuff since 7 in the morning, and I was like, oh shoot, I need to bust out my camera and vlog a little bit. So now it's time to tackle in the closet. This morning, I already spackled the, um, the pantry and everything. So I just brought the supplies upstairs in order to do it in the master closet. So I have my spackling one of these little knife things, and then some sanding paper as well. And I know you're probably wondering, girl, like why are you doing all this yourselves? Like they do this a part of like the closet install, which is true, they do do that, but they also charge you like five, six, seven hundred dollars in order to like remove what's there, repair it before installing it. And we just really didn't want to spend five hundred, six, seven hundred dollars on something that we could easily do ourselves for like fifteen dollars or less. You know what I mean? Like, it just didn't make sense. And why, yes, I am still in my pajamas doing all of this. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that was fast done with that and now i just need to let it dry and i'm gonna sand it and then put texture spray over it and then paint and 
probably see if it needs another layer of spackling after sanding but it's pretty much the process so i'll continue doing that today but you guys when i was at my mom i picked up a ton of packages that i had shipped to her, like her house her work or whatever while i was in mexico and i picked up all the packages yesterday you guys are not even gonna believe it let me show you oh my god you guys this is all of the packages it's as tall as the clothing rack like what so i could explain <laughs> if i even need to but it is the nordstrom anniversary sale there's a couple of like prime day stuff in here and then also lululemon like hiking collection that launched when i left it too so it's justified so here's my dilemma if i'm gonna be honest with you guys okay so i obviously want to do a haul and i want to show you everything that i got and i'm trying to debate whether or not i want to do it in this vlog if i do i feel like this vlog is gonna be like 40 minutes long <laughs> but also the nordstrom anniversary sale stuff like the time that this video goes up the sale is ending like in two days afterwards which doesn't really make sense to do it and i don't know if things are still in stock out of stock of what i got so i need to look that up and i just don't want to waste your guys' time i want to make it like worthwhile you know so i was like contemplating doing a separate video and everything but with that being said of like the sale ending and stuff that's why i'm thinking i want to just squeeze it into this vlog and that's like my biggest fear i hate showing you guys things that are out of stock or that you can't purchase yourselves instead of just doing like a raw unboxing and showing you guys everything that i got i think i'm going to open it and see what i got try on things and maybe only show you guys my favorite things not only my favorite but things that are still in stock that you can potentially purchase. I always do a Nordstrom anniversary sale video so I feel like very thrown off with the fact that I didn't do one this year. You guys love that video and I don't want to leave you hanging either with nothing and I know I put stuff on my Instagram stories of like all my favorite things and pretty much a lot of that I purchased myself too but I feel like I want to show you what items look like in person and on too so i think it'll be fine but if you do like any of the items just move quickly because like i said i think the time that this video goes up the sale is ending in two days First day being back in the office since being out of the office for a little over two weeks. Oh, it's been a busy day. I also just got back from going to the dentist. Why I decided to schedule a dentist appointment on the same day that I was returning back to work. Beyond me, but it all works out. It's all good. Teeth are clean. So I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on my closet situation and pantry situation too. We still need to paint down in the pantry, but let me show you. They are coming tomorrow at 8 a.m. So things need to be wrapped up today. <laughs> the closet is completely done. You can kind of still see it, I guess, on camera. In person, you can't see it, but I mean, it's going to be all hidden anyways by the custom closet. So I actually think it looks pretty good in here. And then heading downstairs, you guys, I cannot live like this any longer. I cannot wait for them to come. <laughs> and then the pantry, like I was mentioning, I still need to paint it, but it looks really good. Like all the holes are completely covered. This one took a little bit longer to do, but anyway, I think it looks good. Okay, and now I wanted to officially do the hauls. I want to show you everything I got from Lululemon and also the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I went through everything and not only am I just showing you guys my favorite things, but things that are still in stock as well since I last checked today. I know that this is kind of like random, maybe, maybe not for like my channel to throw in with like my my closet makeover and like normal vlogging that I do because I feel like this might be long <laughs> but like I said uh, the other day I didn't want you guys to miss out on these deals and these things if these were things that you were interested in so that's why I'm going to show it right now in the vlog so you guys don't miss it. Oliver is pacing around us right now so he's bumping into the camera. Okay so I'm going to start with Lululemon first. So the only thing that I got that wasn't a part of the new hiking collection that they just released was another pair of Align shorts in the poolside color. Oh, there we go. It's all messed up for me trying them on. Such a vibrant color and what's so wild about it is that I actually prefer the way that it looks like on camera right now or on the model. In person it's 
a different blue. It looks more like cobalt blue on the camera and in photos, but in person, it's it's a different color blue. So I'm trying to decide if I like it enough to keep it. I wanted to get outside my comfort zone and go with more like the vibrant colors. You cannot beat Lululemon Align shorts. The six inch inseam is my favorite inseam of all time. I have like 15 pairs of these shorts that are my favorite. So getting into the hiking collection, the hiking collection is very unique, not only by the look of the products, but the features that the products have as well. So I'm just gonna get into the t-shirts first. So I got two of like the cinched t-shirts. I got it in this gorgeous green color and then also in black too. Size zero fits me best on this. So I did size down in them, but they do feel like more slim fitting and more true to size. So you can go with your true to size size in this as well. What I do like about it is it's in the name of it, the cinched detail, because I like my t-shirts to fit more like at my waist or more cropped personally. So I like that I can cinch this up a little bit so it fit more within like the curves of my frame. But this also has like a cute little pocket on the side. And it says that this is made with like a grid textured mesh fabric, which is also sweat wicking, quick drying and breathable too. I love the relaxed fit of it and something so easy that you can wear working out too. It doesn't have to be like solely for hiking. I also picked up this shirt jacket. They have this in three colors. I just opted for the classic black color. I love this, you guys. It was one of those things that I wasn't even sure would work out, but of course wanted to try it. And once I got it on, I was like, oh my god the fit is so flattering it really just flows with your body it's not stiff by any means and the inside of this is i think something that i was the most surprised about by feeling the outside it's definitely like this outdoorsy material very active focused so i thought it was going to be very lightweight and not like super cozy it is lightweight but my god you guys the inside of this is like this grid textured fleece it is so soft I could wear this every single day and I love the way that this looks with bike shorts or even like onesies and stuff. Oh, it looks so freaking good. It's not too wide. It's more like slim fitting. It's a good length. It covers your butt. The sleeves are a little long, which I really like. I got it in a size zero. So I definitely would recommend sizing down since it is so oversized. But this is one of the things that I highly recommend that you pick up. Another thing that I ended up getting was like these convertible jackets. I got it in the green color and also just in classic black, just in case. This green color is obviously very gorgeous, but it's paired with neon that just really stands out. The jacket is very unique because there's so many ways that you can convert it and pack it and all that sort of stuff, which is really nice for hiking because when you hike, it could be cold one minute, hot the next, or it could be raining one minute or not the next, so you never really know. So this does have a packable hood that just folds away in the collar. You can also zip off the sleeves to make it a short sleeve jacket. It's cinchable at the waist, which I really prefer. And then it has like this pocket detail that just kind of hangs here, but you can unzip it that is attached to this neon color. So all of the jacket can pack away in to this. So that way you can just wear it like as a crossbody bag or you can put it in your backpack as well if it's just too hot and you don't need it. But of course has like all these other zippers and pockets throughout out the whole jacket it's really lightweight really breathable sweat wicking so there's a few color options if you want to go for a color but of course there's just like the classic black too and then i of course had to get the cargo hiking shorts too so these are a five inch inseam but i love all the pockets on these two and this zip pocket goes very deep which is really cool this waistband is so soft they're so easy to get on i actually sized down these to a size zero not a struggle to get on very comfortable very like movable with your body too of course love the neon details with this one i think for this i personally love the gray ones it's like a seal gray and it has like some darker gray and black accents with it these are really fun and then i also saw that they had a different option of a hiking short so this looks more like just a normal athletic short not really geared towards hiking and it is a shorter inseam than the last one these are a four inch inseam but they still have like those cute drop pockets on the side it has like a cinchable waistband instead of like like a smooth waistband like the last one unlike me sizing down in the cargo shorts i went true to size with these shorts and went with a size two like the way that they fit on me so this is a really good option if you didn't want like the full cargo short trend but you kind of wanted it a little bit has aspects of it that I think that you would like. Getting to the convertible joggers, this would be the second item out of this whole haul. If you only wanted to get one or two things, this is one of the things that I would highly recommend that you get. <sighs> These 
cargo pants fit like perfection exactly how i'd want cargo pants to fit the length is absolutely perfect for being 5'1 so very petite friendly if you're a fellow petite like me it also has a zipper at the bottom if you needed to zip it up the waistband is like that smooth material that's super soft love the high rise on this and how it looks around my waist and how it fits around my butt love all the cargo detail pockets on it as well but my favorite thing about this is the fact that it does convert into shorts so it's kind of like a two-in-one so you don't really need to get the the cargo shorts if you're getting this and I actually really like that the cargo shorts on these are a three and a half inch inseam versus the five inch inseam on the other ones <sighs> these come in three different colors too I got the black but really I am so 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 tempted to get these in another color these are gonna be staple they're so lightweight I can wear them right now in summer and they're they're so good Okay, I just gathered everything for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Overall thoughts on it, I actually think that they had some pretty great things, really good staples. There's a few shoes that I absolutely love. And same with some sweaters and sweatshirts too. Juan absolutely scored, so I'm gonna show you guys some men's things in here too for your significant other, for your husband, your boyfriend, your dad, your brother, any of that. But first and foremost, let's start with women's shoes because I have a lot of shoes in front of me. And I'm also gonna try to go through this a little bit speedy. So the first ones that I picked up were these combat boots by All Saints. I think that they're really unique because they're a black and a white mix. They also come with another shade of laces that's more nude tone so you can like swap them out where it would match this bone color of the shoe. They're not too heavy and I like that they are also more slim fitting and they have a zipper on the side so it's like really easy to get on. These run true to size. They are a little bit pricey but I do think that they would be worth it. They also come in another color. What's up? Do you want to model your men's things? Too late. Too late? It's too late guys. He's saying no. You'll get the try on aspect for my things. Even the shoes but not Juan's. The next shoe is more of like a now shoe versus a fall shoe, but it was such a good deal that I couldn't pass it up and I love this shoe trend of it being a little bit more of like a kitten heel, something totally manageable and wearable, but also like a thong style. I love it. These fit true to size and I'm so, so happy with the way that these look. I'm thinking I might wear these for an upcoming wedding, but I'm so looking forward to wearing these like with jeans and everything for the rest of the summer. I actually love these so much that I went back and got them in brown and in black too. You cannot pass up this style or the price of these as well. And while I'm going through my closet remodel, I've been trying to take inventory on what I have and do a little bit of a clean out too. And I noticed that I did not have any chocolate booties at all. So I'm really happy that I got these. The smallest size that these come in is a five and a half, which I'm a true five. So these are a half size big on me, but I'm thinking for fall and stuff, if I wear thick socks, it should be totally fine because I do love the overall look of this. I like how small it is at the ankle because I have really small ankles and I love the point toe on it and the heel length on this as well. I feel like this is a very, very classic pair. This comes in a few colors too. I also told myself I wouldn't get any black booties because if you guys have seen my closet, they literally have over 10 pairs of black booties, just different types of black booties. It's crazy. But when I saw these, I don't have anything that's this is me trying to um, convince myself that I need them. <laughs> but I don't have any that look like a classic pair like this with a low heel. This is also Vince, so they are a little bit on the pricey side. But this leather is so buttery soft. They're so comfy to wear. And because it has a slight square toe to it, there's so much room for like your toes. I could walk miles and miles and miles in these. It's really comfortable around my ankle too, so... I'm kind of justifying it. I went true to size with these and they fit great, so it's size five. I also couldn't decide between the black and this color, so I ended up getting both. You'll see, I have three other pairs sitting in front of me that is this color. I really want some sort of like eggshell, ivory, off-white booty for this upcoming season. I don't have any in that color, so I'm really, really happy about these ones so, so much. It's a splurge, but I think it's a splurge that's worth it. I also got these Schultz ones. I liked these because they're a stiletto heel, and I don't have any stiletto heel booties in my wardrobe currently, and I do love the Schultz brand. It's 
true eggshell color so it comes off a little bit more yellow they're absolutely gorgeous they're easy to slide on this next one is from Steve Madden and it's probably one of the more affordable ones I think it was around 70 or 80 dollars and this is just a classic I wear sock booties like no other in the fall and the winter time I think they look the best with like my agoldi jeans it's my go-to and so introducing like a bone color oh, I'm going to wear these so much. It's a really pretty bone color. It comes off a little bit pink, but still neutral. And the heel of these are really unique as well. I think that they are really cool. Pointed toe, zip on the side. They're pretty comfy. They run true to size. And these last ones, I'm kind of on the fence on. I think that they looked really cool. It's a really cool concept. Love the bone color on these. Nice, thick, chunky heel on them. Has zippers on them, so it's easy to get on and off. Good size around the ankles again, and because of the huge wide square toe they have all the room in the world for your toes and your feet so they're really comfy and they would be perfect for those with like wider feet too and then one last pair of shoes I'm just gonna throw in while I'm talking about shoes even though I said it was women's shoes but I did get Juan one pair of shoes he needed a white pair that was more of like an elevated classic pair that wasn't like Air Force ones if you know what I mean and I think that these are a good overall white pair of shoes to wear he thinks that they're really comfy they went with everything that he tried on and they're really affordable too I think they were only like $65 so really good price he did say that these run pretty large so I would probably size down like a half size or so in these shoes one beauty thing that I ended up picking up that I'm really excited to try is this cleansing device for the body so I need to open this up and try it in the shower but it offers vibration that will exfoliate and massage your body I can just see me Oh, massaging my back with it in the shower and it has like different attachments to it too it has like this side of it if you can see but then also has like these massage balls but then there's also like a little loofah that like attaches to it too I don't know I'm really excited to try this out it only came in navy and pink and I'm not a pink girl so I ended up getting the navy one <laughs> getting into women's clothing now first things up I got a black and a white version of these all saint tanks I know I have like a lot of tank tops that look like this but all of my tank tops I realized are crop tank tops and I like that this one is longer so it looks really good tucking it into jeans this was something that I desperately needed to add to my wardrobe so it's a really good staple I also really like the neckline on this and the sleeves too it makes it so you can wear a bra you're still covered you're not showing too much Ugh, it's just like the perfect fit this all saints sweater is gorgeous it's a cashmere blend but i'm kind of on the fence about it because it's so oversized on me and if you guys know me i'm so picky about sweaters it's honestly embarrassing and insane like all wrapped in one like i shouldn't be that picky i really like the oversized look of sweaters but i feel like they kind of swallow me up but i so desperate want them to work out so i really like this one because it is oversized yet it's still like a little crop not too long the sleeves are incredibly long but i love the detail on it too and the color of it but if you're looking for an oversized sweater one that is cashmere like not itchy really comfy and a good color too good quality look at this one this one was also really unique too it kind of has like this patchwork detail to it it's from the brand rails i got it in a size extra small it fits good it says that it's a sweater it's more of like a crew neck sweatshirt to be honest it looks a little bit more casual than a typical sweater it has some nice weight to it it's really soft and comfy and i really like the color of it if you're looking for some basic sweaters and you don't want to break the bank but you still want to look really cute put together still comfy and you may be sensitive to sweaters because of like the itchiness i'm pointing it out only because i am look at these ones these are like cotton sweaters they have some good weight to it they are so soft and they're only like $50 and it has like the perfect fitting sweater look to it like the sleeves are a good length and it's more of like a long crop I don't even want to call it a crop it like hits me right at my waist it's really good length and it has like these tiny little slits on the side too so these are some really good basics I got it in gray and in black as well and last up for women's I also got this sweater vest this beautiful oatmeal color I love the crew neck on it and I'm just a huge fan of of sweater tank tops honestly it has a good fit overall the length of it is really good it's not itchy at all I got a size extra small it runs like a little bit big but it's super cute okay getting in to Juan's things that he got this is like the one time of the year that he does his major shopping and replenishes a bit he's not a huge shopper <laughs> 
I do most of the shopping for him. Like I picked out all of this stuff for him. So I'm honestly surprised that he scored so well. First is this sweater. I love the texture on it and the color of it. It's gorgeous. This comes in a couple of colors too. This runs large though. So we size down to a size small. He usually wears a size medium, but this is a very oversized sweater. It's extremely soft. I think it's like a cotton blend. Oh, I love the texture of it. I also got him this Vince sweater. I don't think you can see it on camera, but it has like these reflex of gray throughout or like white mixed within. It has a little bit of weight to it, but it's more of like a lightweight sweater. And also Vince is a really expensive brand and it has like a really good deal right now. So I highly recommend that one. He also loves All Saints and hoodies too. So we got this hoodie. This is a gorgeous color. I love like the kangaroo pocket on it instead of like a standard hoodie pocket. So it looks a little bit more elevated than a casual hoodie. It's really, really soft. It kind of has like a, a suede feeling to it. This item, I'm so excited for him. You guys, all these things, if you would have been there to see me dressing him and styling him with these outfits, he looked so cute. So I'm excited for his style game right now. And this jacket is like perfection. It's more of like a shirt jacket, I would say. It's more lightweight, so it's gonna be perfect for the fall. But because of this texture to it, it adds like a little bit of warmth to it. So it'll still keep you warm, but it's not like winter warmth. He says it's really comfy. He loves the fit of it. It's not too wide. It's like more slim fitting and true to size medium fits him the best. I did pick up like a linen shirt for him. It's like a short sleeve linen shirt. Very classic, something that he could wear right now. It's a really soft linen too. So even before washing it, it's super, super soft. This went true to size for him, a size medium. It's a good length overall. I feel like it's something that I could even steal for myself. <laughs> And then getting into a few t-shirts, only a couple. I think that online they call this like a blue color, but in person it's very much like a light gray color. Simple tee that just says All Saints like right in the center. And I love this one because it has a more relaxed fit to it, which for Juan is venturing outside of his comfort zone, but something I really wanted him to try out. I think that this looks so good on him. So if you don't want it to be too oversized, size down. If you like the relaxed fit, then just go true to size. And then same goes for this t-shirt too. This one is probably like my favorite. It's a wash black color and it has like this little graphic right here, but also a graphic spread across the back of it as well. This has the exact same fit as that one. So last with denim, I got him two pairs that he is keeping. And you guys, I'm very particular about denim color, the washes, how they fit. You guys know I'm like that. So of course I'm just as picky for Juan on his behalf as well. And these have my stamp of approval. So these are so good. The first up is actually a light wash pair of jeans, which is the first for Juan. This has like a kind of a slim fit throughout, but still like stretchy and comfortable. He does need to get them hemmed, but surprisingly he tried this on with everything that I just showed you and it paired with everything so 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 well and then the second one he doesn't really have like a true medium wash and this one is perfect it goes with everything it's a true medium it has more of like a faded denim look to it so it's not like a vibrant denim which means that it's just gonna go with a lot more things this has pretty much the exact same fit as the last one so it's slim ish like throughout definitely like room stretchy it looks really good on him i like like the butt pockets on them and how like they're so simple oh <sighs> but yeah that's it that's everything that i got that i love from the nordstrom anniversary sale and also lululemon's new hiking collection hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys found some things that you wanted to check out for yourselves i'll have every single thing listed and linked down below for you guys my size measurements will always be down there for you guys as well but if you have any questions just let me know Da -da -da! okay i just finished editing the cancun vlog and it's, i need to upload it right now it's going up tomorrow tomorrow but i'm gonna multitask with doing this uploading it we just picked up some ramen I ended up getting tan tan noodles, yeah? Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. And we're just reheating up bits of it to eat. And then are we gonna watch The Terminalist? Yes. You guys, it's so good. It's on Prime Video and it has, what's his face? Chris Pratt. It has Chris Pratt in it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. I feel like it's a little unusual for him of like a role. No? I don't know. It's so good. I think we're like episode five, so we're gonna watch. 
We're gonna watch that and eat this. My battery's dying, bye. <laughs> Don't mind how rough I look. I've been working all day. It's 92 degrees outside, and I just finished installing the closet in the pantry. Guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to start putting all my clothes in. I kind of want to do it right now, like this second. I'm absolutely excited to get all this shit off of my island, get my island back, and same with my dining room table. This is crazy. All of this clutter is causing me to have so much anxiety. Have I not been complaining about how anxious I've been feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, babe, should I start? Or should I start? Like putting things away. Without me? Well, you can not play a video game, <laughs> and you can join in if you would like. Maybe I'll start upstairs with the closet. Do that. Because I think I'm more excited about the closet. I mean, yeah. I'm just as excited about the pantry, but okay, 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 let's start. <laughs> Oh, I'm too short. It's so dark. I've been chilling in the dark in the house because it's such a hot day. I don't want Ugh, the sun heating up the space, but it looks like the sun is moving over the house. I can open up a little bit of the windows. Hi! So, doesn't look like it, but we did spend time yesterday, last night actually, moving everything back into the pantry and getting it all set up and staying with the closet as well. So you guys ready? I'm gonna share with you guys the full makeover. Ah, it's so soothing. It's delicious. <laughs> Are we ready? Are we ready? Ta da! So as you can already see from the before and the after, it is so much taller. I think there's about like 10 inches left till the top of the ceiling. So there's still room up there for us to put stuff if we really want to. But the shelves are taller, which is really nice. The depth is still the same as what we had before, but the shelves are also a lot sturdier. So if we pivot over here to this corner of the L, oh, all of our alcohol just is so much safer put in here instead of like the wire racks. I'm very happy about that. And then we have like a little wine rack down here at the bottom. And then over here, when we were designing out the space, I made sure all of like the effort and money I put into organizing it with like these baskets and stuff, like everything would fit so I didn't have to repurchase anything. The only thing that I might have to repurchase is these bins down below. I can't fit two in a single like space right here. So I might just end up getting more of these so that we can make use of uh, the space a little bit. I also have to reorganize organized a bit but as of right now i'm obviously very very happy and impressed and very pleased with the way that this looks it just looks so built in i love that they finished off all of this too but let's go upstairs to take a final look at the closet my pride and my joy i spent so much time at reorganizing things in it and i also took a bunch of stuff out that I plan on donating or listing on Poshmark. I can actually show you that right now. I have a pile over here in my office of everything that I kind of pulled out of my closet. So definitely expect that to be coming soon on my Poshmark. But let me show you guys the closet. Okay, here we go. immediately taking a right in the closet. This is my section. 
so um i don't even know where to begin <laughs> so up top and on this side i put all of like my shirts and some crew neck sweatshirts and things like that in this section and i kind of have it color coordinated a little bit i need to do better at it but on top i have grays into blacks and then down here i have whites into beiges into browns and colors like back there and then pivoting over this way i just kept like my jeans and shorts here on the bottom sweatshirts up top this is a very small section for my sweatshirts and i kind of knew that going into this so i got rid of i think like 10 sweatshirts to make this section fit more but i probably will utilize like inside of here or a drawer for extra sweatshirts if i just can't part with them because I mean, I should. This is kind of ridiculous, but anyways. And then this back corner is all of like my trousers, full length pants, cargo pants, leather pants. And then I have a couple of dresses back there as well. But this is like my only long hanging section. And this is also full. I kind of went crazy for trousers and stuff the last couple months. So this section grew a lot. I definitely need to be mindful of what i purchased to go into that section and then for the main event something i'm so 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 excited about that i never had before is this shoe wall so i would say like 90 to 95 percent of my shoes are all in this section now everything is just in one spot one home which makes it so much easier for me to get ready or to know what shoes i have before it was like spread out between i don't know four different areas throughout the house so this makes me so happy and it just so satisfying to see it all set up like this my hamper is here in the corner and then what i'm so happy about hi oliver is i still have another section right here so this might be a section for shoes too um but we'll see what i put in there and then pivoting back here to the center so i only used one drawer as of right now and i put all of my swimsuits and cover-ups in here i'm still washing some from returning from mexico but everything will fit in this one drawer which is really nice everything is soft clothes and like the black and white matches my bathroom is very dirty but matches the bathroom perfectly which i'm really really happy about that's exactly what we wanted i can still grow into this section i haven't used this drawer yet and those two drawers are empty as well and then in here is empty too the only thing i added into this section see it's fully empty is like a jewelry box i thought that that would fit like perfectly right here and now turning over to one section i'll give you a quick overview of his so he put some bags up top we were laughing about this adidas bag because it looks like a louis vuitton duffel on display <laughs> he has some of like his jackets and long hanging coats right here he has more coats downstairs so we need to bring it up here so that everything is together some lighter weight jackets and button-ups that he has and then over here is sweaters it kind of annoys me that he folds it like this because I prefer it to look more like this hanging, <laughs> but he does what he does. So that's like some hoodies and sweaters up there. And then down here is joggers, jeans, stuff like that. And then he has a few shoes back here and he has more sections down here for shoes too. He has lots of empty space. Like this full section back here is empty. It just has like hangers in here. I'm so tempted to like take it over, but no, no, no. It's his section. <laughs> Are you loving the closet? What do you think? <laughs> Ugh, I am just over the moon about the whole process to be honest like I said at the beginning we did use California closets from the design through scheduling through like the installation of it all everything was so smooth and this is not sponsored by any means I mean if they want to sponsor me that'd be great <laughs> there was three guys here working for most of the day yesterday they started around 8 a.m and then they wrapped up at 3 p.m so it wasn't too bad but the guys were super nice super friendly they weren't too loud which surprised me because i figured this would cause a lot of noise but they're fairly quiet the quality of everything seems really nice as well i mean we're only a day in and we just put everything in the closet and in the pantry so let's see how things kind of wear and everything seems like lined up perfectly you guys know i'm like super ocd about noticing like the smallest details and scratches and dents and those sort of things and everything is really really nice so very very happy with that so now that that whole process is concluded i literally took you from beginning to end and included a massive haul in this vlog i'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here i'm gonna pick up another one this weekend and and right now i need to get back to work as well thanks for spending the last couple of days with me i love you guys so much and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye love you Mwah.